Good morning. Welcome, God's people. You reached Waiting for the One Grace Podcast, Scriptures Read Daily from New Living Translation Bible, along with daily greetings, requests for happy birthdays, births, anniversaries, other prayer requests, poems, and more. Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, let your word resonate and penetrate in us and give us faith, love, hope, health, wisdom, strength, and all we need for today. Amen. Psalm 91 is a protection prayer that the recommendation is reading or hearing it one to two times daily. The first scripture of the day is Malachi 2.14. You cry out, why doesn't the Lord accept my worship? I'll tell you why. Because the Lord witnessed the vows you and your wife made when you were young. But you have been unfaithful to her, though she remained your faithful partner, the wife of your marriage vows. The next scripture is Matthew twenty-two, twenty-nine to 32 Jesus replied, Your mistake is that you don't know the scriptures, and you don't know the power of God. For when the dead rise, they will neither marry nor be given in marriage. In this respect, they will be like the angels in heaven. But now as to whether there will be a resurrection of the dead, haven't you ever read about this in the scriptures? Long after Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob had died, God said, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. So he is the God of the living, not the dead. The next scripture is Colossians 3, 1 to 4. Since you have been raised to new life with Christ, set your sights on the realities of heaven, where Christ sits in the place of honor at God's right hand. Think about the things of heaven, not the things of earth, for you died to this life, and your real life is hidden with Christ in God. And when Christ, who is your life, is revealed to the whole world, you will share in all his glory. Now we have extra suggestive reading. Malachi 2, 1-17. Matthew 22, 1-46. Colossians 3, 1-25. And the ones that are starred are the ones that Jesus is speaking in those scriptures. Thank you. Today's imagery, titled Today, A Step in God and Jesus' Shoes, will be found in part two of Today, A Step in God and Jesus' Shoes. Today we have one birthday. Happy birthday to Trevor. And we have a message from Fernando and Lori. Happy birthday, Trevor. Have a God-blessed birthday today and always. We have a message for Garrett and her husband from Fernando and Lori. Keep your eyes on Jesus with a full trusting heart. And have a God-blessed successful surgery. Now we have one birthday prayer. Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless Trevor today on his birthday. Pour in many blessings that overfill and run into every area of his life. We ask this through Jesus' broken body and through Jesus' bloodshed. In Christ Jesus' name, amen. Now we have a surgery prayer. 
Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, anoint the doctors and medical staff when performing the breast tumor surgery for Garrett. Provide both wisdom and steady hands to the doctors and medical staff assisting in the surgery today and provide a full, speedy recovery for Garrett. And give strength and trusting hearts in you, Jesus, to Garrett and her husband. During this whole process of reaching her he full healing, we ask this through Jesus' broken body, through Jesus' bloodshed, in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening and joining in with us. We look forward to you watching part two and joining in with us tomorrow. Tomorrow's category is imagery and the title is Freedom from the Penalty of Sins. Birthdays, occasional prayers, requests can be left at wishingwell142 at gmail.com. The two W's are capitalized and the remaining letters are lowercased. Come and join our prayer team. Email wishingwell142 at gmail.com attention w f t o prayer team slash prayer warrior join have a god blessed wonderful wednesday for yourselves and your families amen